welcome back. If it's your first time, I'm Kristen and I help you start yoga. This video is specifically for kids. Adults, you are welcome to join if you want, but it's specifically fun and quick practice for kids to follow. Grab a mat if you have it. If not, just use the floor and let's get started. Okay, let's get started. So, you're actually going to start in the middle of your mat, if you have one. If not, just stand wherever. And we're going to start with our hands at heart center, okay? And what we're going to do is just shake things up a little bit and make sure we're ready to do some of the poses we're doing. So first, I just want you to widen out your feet a little bit and shake out your hands. Just wring them out. Not too hard, but just shake them out. Get those fingers warmed up, those wrists. Good, because we're going to... We're gonna be on our hands a little bit. And now flat, like a bird. And if you're on your, um, if you're on iPad or computer, your phone a lot, you're gonna notice some loosening in your fingers when you do this. Shake one more time, like you're wringing your hands. Good. And flat. Good. Okay, now what we're gonna do is just we're going to swing our arms side to side. Watch around you, make sure there's nothing you're gonna knock over or hit yourself. Little bend in your knees while you do this. Just swinging, get your, getting your spine warmed up because we're gonna move our spine a little bit. And you don't have to twist as far as me, just twist to where it feels good for you. This should feel good, it should feel fun and light. Breathing. We always want to breathe in and out our nose or mouth, whatever feels good for you. Breathing, nice deep breaths. Good, okay. Wringing out your arms, shaking them out. Maybe you do these, give yourself a hug. Oops, just don't slap yourself like I just did. Nice, alternating which hand goes on top. So my right arm's on top and my left arm's on top. Just give yourself a hug. You can even stop for a moment, wind them out. Stop for a moment. Widen it out, give yourself a hug. This warms up the shoulders and the chest and the back. Good, okay. Now, relax your arms, feet about hip width apart so they're straight down from your hips, okay? So what we're gonna do is hands at heart center again. And this time, we're just going to bend our knees slightly. We're gonna bring our hands down, inhale. And up at the top, look up at your hands. Exhale, bring your hands down to heart center. I like to exhale out my mouth here, so you can do the same if you want. Bend those knees a little bit again. Hands out, bringing them up, circle them all the way up to the top of your inhale. Hands meet at the top, look up at your hands. Exhale, heart center, good job. Let's do a couple more. Bend those knees, bring them up in a circle, all the way to the top, look up at your hands. With that inhale, exhale, heart center. Good job, one more. Bend those knees, inhale. Look up at your hands, exhale, bring those hands down together, heart center, good job. Okay, now what we're gonna do is come to seated position. So we're gonna sit down here. So you can cross your legs if you want to, Indian style, you can, some, People like to stack them here. I'm gonna stack mine, um, meaning one foot leg is stacked on top of the other. This is Chester, he likes to do yoga too. So, what we're gonna do is take our right hand, we're gonna place it to our side, or whichever hand you want, okay? If you wanna mirror me, it's this hand, okay? So put that hand down next to your side. You're just gonna lift up that other arm, lift, 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 and reach over to that side, okay? And breathing still, nice, long inhale, and exhale. Again, you can exhale out your mouth if you want, but inhale through your nose every time. So inhale, exhale. And really think about driving that hip down into the floor. Both hips are equally on the floor. We're looking up at the sky, or you can just keep it neutral if you want. Really reaching, we're keeping this nice and long. Good, now let's switch. So the, bringing that 
arm down and then planting this hand down into the floor on the other side. Reach up the arm. Reach, reach, reach. Same thing here. I have the windows open. It's a nice breeze coming in. Inhale. Exhale. Good. We're really opening up this side, getting it stretched out and ready for our poses that are coming here soon. And I'm going to show you and that you get to practice. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Really reaching. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Good. All right. Coming back to center. Good job. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna come onto our knees. We're gonna do what's called a heart opener. So it really opens up your chest, all right? So this should feel really good. Come onto your knees. And if you're on a really hard floor and you wanna put a blanket on your knees like this or something, you can, all right? So all we're gonna do is come up onto our knees like this. We're gonna put our hands at heart center once again. And we're just gonna open up our chest. So what you're gonna do is think about sending your chest up to the sky, just like that, and let your head Come back a little bit. You can let it drop back more if you want, but don't do too much. You don't want to hurt yourself. Just think about opening up that chest. That's all you're doing. And breathing still. Just a couple here. Good. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Bring it down. Good. Come down onto your knees just for a moment. So like this, I like to do this and like bend one elbow and then bend the other. Little stretch in the shoulder and the back maybe. Now because you're kids, you're probably not very tight in a lot of areas, but you might find that maybe there are some areas where you're like, wow, that's really hard for me to do. That's okay. That's why you practice these things. But generally, kids have an easier time doing a lot of these these poses because you're just op more open, your body's young, so that's good. Okay, I'm going to face you guys for this. So what we're going to do is we're still on our knees. Now, we're going to bring our feet up, okay? So I'm just going to show you like in a squatted position, okay? So your toes are going to come out. You, you can go in this that way or you can stand up and squat down like this, okay? It's up to you. So your, your toes are pointed out slightly, and maybe you can't go down this far. Maybe you're just here. My guess is most of you are probably able to sink down. Um, if you need to put a pillow under your bum, go ahead. All right, hands at heart center, and I'll do it from this side so you can see it from the side as well. You're just leaning forward here, okay? Well, not too much, but you're leaning a little forward, and you're pressing your elbows against your knees, slightly opening up. And you should feel your hips open up a bit here. This is a really good one. I'll turn so you can see me. Just breathing here once more. Good. Nice deep inhale. Feel your ribs and your back because we know our ribs go from the front to the back. Feel them expand even in the back and the front when you inhale. So when you inhale, your ribs get bigger, and then when you exhale, they come back in. One more. And exhale. Good, okay. Now, if you need to, use your hands to stand up, roll all the way up to standing. Good, okay. Now we're in standing again, we're just gonna do a little balance po posture here. So this should be fun. Um, now, if, you're, if balance is kind of hard for you, that's okay. That's why we practice. So you have an option here. So you can put your hands on your hips or at heart center. I'm going to show you with heart center. You need to do a little kickstand here with your toes, okay? So here is where you would, you can stay if you want. Keep a kickstand. Maybe it's closer to your ankle, however you want it. Or you can bring that foot up to your calf here. So... Nice straight back to keep you stable. Keep your belly in, not pushed out, but in. Good. And you're still breathing. And if, you, if you're really good at balance, you want to do more, bring that foot up into that thigh right here. 
Good. Breathing more. Good. And if you really want to give it a go, bring your arms up. Now we're in tree, we're full tree pose here. So you're like little, you're like a tree. Good. And anytime you come out of it, that's okay. You can go back into it or do an easier version down to the calf or the kickstand, okay? Or stay here at heart center, whatever feels good for you. One more breath here. Good. All right, good practice. Now you can practice that at home anytime and alternate which side you go on so you're even, okay? We'll go ahead and do the other side so we're even today. Kickstand, so now your opposite leg is straight. Kickstand, and you put that foot on your calf. If you want to start that way or keep it down or bring that foot up to your thigh. Good. Heart center. If you want, if you want to bring it to tree, full tree, you can. Again, you don't have to go there right away. It's just something to play with a little bit. See how you feel. I'm a little wobbly on this side. So I'm going to bring my foot back down and stay in kickstand. Last breath here. Good. Okay. Release it. All right. So now we're going to actually come back down. We're going to go into our downward dog. So if you haven't done downward dog before, we're going to start on our hands and knees, whether or not you've done it before. Hands are nice and splayed out like stars. Okay. So big star hands here, tuck your toes under and then bring up those hips toward the sky. Okay. Now you can drive Press your heels toward the floor. It's okay if they don't touch. They don't need to. You can also bend your knees to start. If, you're, if your legs don't want to go straight, that's okay. You can bend your knees. Keep those arms nice and straight, though, and try to keep your ears next to your arms, okay? Good. This is so good for you. It just feels good to be upside down. <laughs> I prefer to be upside down. Good, nice deep breaths here. Inhale, and then we're gonna exhale our mouth. <sighs> nice and loud, okay? Let's do it again. Inhale, exhale. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. <sighs> Good, now bringing your knees down nice and easy. Okay, now we're we're, this is called table pose. Your knees are right under your hips. So it's straight line down and your wrists are directly under your shoulders. Okay, so check yourself. See if you're there. Okay, make sure you're nice and square. We're going to do cat cow. Okay, so let your, for cow, let your belly sink toward the floor. Okay, but don't be like this. Shrug up in your shoulders. Press your neck nice and long. You're pressing through your arms. You're not here. You're here. Not here you're here. Okay. All right. So we're in cow. This is where we inhale and then we exhale in the cat. It's like a cat stretch. Like you see Halloween cats, send your back up toward the sky. Ears are next to your arms again, just like they were in down dog. We exhale here, but you can, you can inhale and exhale here for a moment. Just as we hold it, we get used to how it feels. Your hips are tucked under. Now coming back, inhale into cow. So let that belly sink down. Exhale, cat. Back up. Pressing through those hands. Remember, keep that neck nice and long. Inhale, cow. Looking straight forward now if you can. Exhale, cat. Send that back up toward the sky. One more. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Good. Good. Okay, now I'm like, sit. we're going to sit back onto our legs here. All right, and we're going to come into, this is called child's pose. So you can start with your knees together if you want. Let's go ahead and start with our knees together. Reaching forward, rest your forehead on the floor, okay? And nice deep breaths here. Again, thinking about your ribs expanding in the front and the back as you inhale. So really feel it. See if you can build them up as much as possible. Exhale. I like to exhale on my nose here, but it's up to you. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
Good. Now widen your late knees open and do it one more time. Just two breaths here. Inhale. Let your chest sink toward the floor. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Awesome. Okay. We're going to slowly walk ourselves back up here and we're going to come onto our back and we're going to end with a little relaxation before you go on with whatever you have to do today. All right, so you're going to lay flat on your back. And this is called Shavasana. So this is where we lay. And I'm just going to talk you through it real quick. We're almost done. Stay with me. Palms of your hands are facing the ceiling, okay? They're just resting into the ground. Let your legs open up. Close your eyes. Still just breathing. Nice and deep. Think about your breath only right now. Okay, so no matter what's going on in your life, whether it's family stuff or school or friend things, whatever it might be, you know, whether it's drama or just work that needs to be done, whatever it might be, let it go and just think about your breathing. Okay, and breathing. And just focus on your breath. This is your time. You don't have to think about everything else in your life right now. This is your escape. Just let your body melt into the floor. Start to think now. We're just going to go down the length of the body. You're going to feel your head. Think about your head melting into the ground. Just feel it resting there. Down to your shoulders and your arms, your wrists, and your hands. Every point that's touching the ground right now, just feel it. Let it go completely. None of your muscles are working, except the ones that help you breathe. Letting your jaw go. Let your eyes rest behind your eyelids. Feel your upper back touching the ground. Feel your lower back, place, uh, your tailbone resting on the ground. Your hips down, your legs. You feel your, your thighs and your calves and your ankles resting on the ground. Can you rest here? I'm not leaving you. I'll let you know when it's time to come out of it. For right now, just take a few breaths and rest. Casting all your cares away from you. Start to wiggle your hands, your fingers, and your toes. Wake your body up a little bit now. Bring your breathing back. Maybe take a big sigh, big breath. Maybe rock your head side to side a little bit. Just waking up. Now bring your knees in to your chest and give your knees a great big hug here. You can even pull up your face toward your knees if you want. Big hug. Lay down your head if you brought it up and just rock slight your legs slightly side to side. Eyes are still closed. All right, releasing now your legs, putting your feet flat on the ground, coming over onto your side. Lay on your side for a moment, and then using one of your hands to press yourself up into seated whenever you're ready. Try to keep your eyes closed if you can. We'll open here in just a moment. It's okay if you need to open them to look at me to see what I'm doing. Okay, now hands at heart center. 
we're going to open our eyes and we're just going to inhale up together. Look up at your hands just like we did in the beginning. This time we're going to go out. Exhale out your mouth. Back to heart center. This time let's inhale, go out. All the way up. Get your hands at the top. Look at them. Exhale, heart center. Good. We are done. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you like this, let me know in the comments and I'll make more videos for kids. See you guys next time.